Compex Neuromuscular Electrical Stimulation, Gastrocnemius and Soleus. After neuromuscular electrical stimulation training, plantar flex and maximal voluntary contraction increased significantly by 22%. Torque gains were accompanied by an increase in muscle activation of 11%, according to Gondon et al. 2006. Where do you place the pads for stimulating the gastrocnemius and soleus? Basically the pad placement will be the same for each, you will get both. So you need two 5 times 10 cm electrode pads for each calf. Place the negative black electrode on the proximal upper calf. Place the positive red electrode on the middle of the gastrocnemius muscle bellies. This way the current is running through the motor points of both the gastrocnemius and the soleus. Now you have choices as to what to do next. Ideally start with potentiation, which is 3 minutes long and the aim is to take the intensity up as high as tolerably possible. This will essentially warm up the muscle and nervous system ready for the workout. If somebody is very weak and chronically inhibited in this muscle, then use the potentiation, then use a low frequency setting such as endurance, which activates type 1 muscle fibers. If they are very weak and inhibited, then they may not even get a contraction at all, but stick with the low frequency stimulation and they should start to get increased contraction strength from session to session. Each time trying to get the maximum tolerable intensity, and during the session you should be able to increase this too. Once good contraction is achieved then move up to the next frequency, which could be disuse atrophy, then resistance, then strength, then explosive strength. This increase in frequency will achieve more muscle fibre types, so high frequency and high intensity will gain the greatest motor recruitment. If somebody is already quite strong in the calves, then you can go up to high frequency straight away. You can use the machine passively at first, then advance to working with voluntary contractions. Just like normal calf rehab, you can for example do standing calf raises on a step, without a step, seated calf raise, etc. When using it passively you can run the whole program length and when performing voluntary contraction, then depending on your goals you can apply training principles for strength, power or endurance. You are likely to get delayed onset muscle soreness, but you can use the recovery or massage settings to ease and prevent this. References